Hey everybody and welcome back to Beauty Swirl. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the threading machine that everybody has been asking me to do. So before we do this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that little bell so you can get notified because YouTube, they be tripping. They don't wanna show you guys when we upload a video. So the only way you can see that is if you click on the little bell, okay? All right, let's hop right into this video. All right, so I let you guys talk me into doing this video and it's gonna be on the threading machine that you saw in my last video, my eBay hauls. If you wanna see that video, make sure you click right up there. I'll leave a little thing up there where you can go click it. <laughs> this is what we're gonna be reviewing today. So I'm up here, bare faced it, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and snatch these beards. We're gonna go ahead and snatch some of this, you know, outgrown hairs up in here, even though it's not that many because I think I shaved it a couple of days ago. I wasn't planning on doing a video, so I didn't know. So this is what we're gonna be doing the video on, this little gadget here. And I bought this for $13 on eBay. So this is what the packaging looks like. It comes with the charger, the hair remover, and the uh, thread. <laughs> Last night I pulled this out to charge it because I'm thinking, oh, this gotta be wireless, right? Doesn't it look like it'd be wireless? I mean, come on, if it wasn't wireless, why didn't it just come with the cord connected to this? But, so obviously this is not wireless like I thought it would be, which is a bummer because who wants to have a plug, you know, all around your face when you're trying to thread your eyebrows or, you know, get the peach fuzz and all that stuff. You don't wanna have a little cord with it, but it did, it comes with a cord. I'm sorry. And the other thing to my surprise, not an American plug, as you guys can see there. Definitely not American. Thank God I had the connector for this because if I didn't, I couldn't use it. As you can see, our plugs doesn't look like that. So I have the connector here where you would stick it in and you can use it in your American plug, okay? But um, yeah. So if you do buy this, hopefully there's an option for an American plug with it because that'll suck if it doesn't have one. But um, if so, you can always buy the converter. So, you know, it's always a way around it. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this up because as you can see, it doesn't work without being plugged up. I left it, like a dummy, I left this on all night thinking it was gonna charge it, but it didn't. <laughs> you just have to use it. You know, plugged up. Ah! It pulled my hair. It pulled my hair. I didn't know I had it on. Okay. And there's hair all in it. Oh, Friday then. <sighs> this video is starting off really good, huh? Make sure when you plug it up, your hair is nowhere near it. I must love you guys so much because I'm gonna put myself in so much pain to review this item for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the hair remover, which looks like this. Found you guys. I got it to. Or a open. All right. Oh, weird. It has something in there. Oh, it's like a powder puff. And that is even worse because it's definitely gonna get everywhere. Why is it like that? Okay, so yeah, you see what I mean? So the first thing we're gonna try this on is our arms, okay? Because that's what I saw. They were using it on their arms and it's already, I'm hoping I'm not allergic to this stuff because it's getting everywhere. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and Part of this on my arms, okay. Wants to use you for the guinea pig. Okay, there we go. And then I'm just gonna use my finger and just rub it on in there. All right. Um, let me show you guys what it looks like when it's on. Looks like that. Okay. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We're gonna go ahead and do it on my hairs. And you know what? I should do it on the hairs at the top here because you can see that a little bit better. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and dive in. Lord Jesus, I'm scared, I'm scared. Okay, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, that's painful. Oh, that's really painful. Oh, that's painful. But it worked. Rip those hairs out of there. Not one of my favorite videos to do. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that powder, stick it right here. All right, and then 
Uh, so we have some little hairs here that I want to take off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm um, shitting bricks right now. All right, guys. I have my little handy dandy mirror. So we see it in the shot. Sorry. I got to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Uh, I hope I don't lose my eyebrows for this. Please God, don't let me lose my eyebrows for this. Okay. So, um, place, oh my, my eyelashes might get, okay. All right, you guys, this is scary. This is very scary. I'm gonna close my eyes on this side. And then, ouch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that hurt it. Oh, this thing. Okay, make sure you have your hairs brushed up so you don't get none of the hairs that you don't want to rip out. Okay. Okay, and I just made myself go bald on one side. <clears throat> So this hair keeps grabbing up there. It keeps grabbing up there. Now I'm bald. I'm bald. I'm gonna try one more time to get these little hairs. Right here, you see those little hairs? That's what I'm aiming for, but some reason it's going over here. One more time and then I'm done with this eyebrow. Okay. <laughs> you guys, I am so done with this. I am just so done with this. Um. So yeah, you guys see that. You guys see that. You guys see that. You guys see that ball spot. You guys see that ball spot. Okay. Did it even get the ones that I wanted? Did it? Only got one. But damn it. But damn it to hell. Damn it to hell. Um, so yeah, like I said. Oh. Oh. Everywhere, everywhere. Bad container for this. Uh I'm thinking this is a fail. This is a fail for me because um exhibit A. Exhibit A, where, where, where the hey, where the hey, where the, what, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, if you're not experienced at uh, threading, this shit here, will rip your hair out. It will, it will, it don't discriminate. It will rip your hair out. It will rip it, rip it. Can we have a moment of silence for my for my right eyebrow? R.I.P. right eyebrow. R.I.P. right eyebrow. <sighs> gone too soon, gone too soon. This is going in the trash. It's going in the trash, not for me, not for me. It's very painful. It's ripping the hairs out. Just like you would pluck your hairs, just like you would wax, well wax is probably less painful than that machine. But it's like plucking, plucking your individual hairs out. Ugh, this stuff is just all in my hair. I can't even, I can't even stay focused. I can't, I'm, I'm just like done. I'm just like all the way done. I just knew this was gonna happen. I just knew this was gonna happen. But I was like, nah, I'm a G, I'm a G. I know how to do this. I would know how to do this. Like. Like, for real, for real. Okay, um, can I get a thumbs up for trying? Can I get a thumbs up and a comment for losing my right eyebrow? Can I? Can I? So if you guys ever had your eyebrows threaded, let me know how your experience was. Was it painful? Because this was very painful. Tell me you guys' experience. I mean, would you try this? Would you try this on yourself? Maybe I should have tried this on somebody else so I would have had more, you know, precision. 
Maybe I just can't do it on myself. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I really don't know how this thing works. I mean, where do you even place it? Where? Where? Why does it grab everything? Like, how do you even know where to place it? How do you know you ain't gonna lose your eyelashes? How do you know anything with this? You wanna try one more time? So, I would definitely not have this nowhere near my eyebrows ever again. Nowhere near. You probably can do your, your mustache area, some of this area, you know, anywhere but your eyebrows. You, you don't want to do that. Mm. Mm. So it definitely worked for my chin area. It definitely worked. It was still painful, but it worked. You ripped those hairs right on out. So I'm guessing it will work great around the facial area, but just not your eyebrows if you don't want to fudge it up like I did. I mean, I mean. Does this item work? Yes, it works. It works, it rips the hairs out like it's supposed to, but it doesn't have really a precise aim that I would want it to, because when you're trying to get around your eyebrows, you wanna make sure you're not gonna rip it out like that. You wanna make sure it's just gonna go on the area that you're trying to put it on, and that didn't work out for me, and from that alone, this product is a fail to me, because come on, the threading is mostly for your eyebrows, and look what it did to my eyebrows. So from one to 10, I will give this, I'm gonna give it a five, you guys, because it actually does work. It works. This little thing works, but it's very painful. It's not precise. So use it at your own risk, your own risk. <laughs> so you probably wanna see how the thread looks that it comes with before I leave. Looks like that. Just basic thread. Looks like the hair thread that you use. I have it in black. This is just in white, okay? If you ever, you know, do your own hair, this is like the same thread. All right, so that is it. That is it for this video today. I can't do any more with this. I'm just so shocked and appalled. I'm appalled. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. And if you wanna see my latest videos, make sure you click right here. And if you wanna see what YouTube thinks you're gonna like, click that video over there. All right, so you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.